think that's um, from how I was raised. I was always like, I always had to be something. For my team, you have to be an asset. You can't be a liability. Women before you didn't want to get even. Selfish, you used to even hide how much money you was making. Like literally, I would find your receipts. It's heavily influenced by the fact that she grew up in Mexico. Beautiful Japanese ladies. Good, they're great. Very feminine, very caring, very nurturing. Be very hard pressed to find fat Japanese girl. Hey guys, welcome back to Motor Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe, also smash that notification bell just to be sure you get on my videos as soon as I release them. Let's get right into this. What about you would you consider as a toxic trait? Every time I'm in a relationship, I get lost in my man and I stop focusing on myself. I put everything into what like for him why is it do you think that you lose yourself when you are in a relationship with somebody i think that's um from how i was raised i was always like i always had to be something for my parents and do something for them always to make them proud that i felt like i had to do the same when i was in a relationship when it, it shouldn't be like that wow she was raised to be submissive by her parents by learning to obey and abide by the rules her parents set forth, she directly did that to her man. That's impressive. Now, this is why guys would rather a woman that has both parents, but not a daddy's girl. And it's, it's one of those things, right? Guys don't want daddy's girls. And there's a big reason for that, right? You get a girl that's like that, it's like, oh, my dad said this, my dad... And it's too much. You guys know what I mean. It's, sometimes it can be too much. But something like this, guys want. Unless she's a little toxic. I see here with the green hair, the multicolored hair. It's one of those things you look and go, what's going on there, really? Some drugs or something in the picture? But let me go on to the next one. I teach you this right here. Stop looking for a man for what he'll give to you. And look for a man for what he will sacrifice for you. Right. That's a huge difference. Yes, because there are, there are men out there that will sacrifice everything for their woman. And they do. And there's guys that get broken for it. But Steve Harvey's right on this one. Look for a man that's going to sacrifice everything for you because that's the man that will do anything for you at any given time. And that's what a guy wants. A guy wants a woman that's the same way. Unfortunately, there's a lot of women not showing that nowadays. On my team, you have to be an asset. You can't be a liability. If you're a liability, then you don't need to be on my team. There's no difference from a female that's in my life. If she's a liability, then she'll need to be with me. If she don't want to listen and learn, or she don't bring something to the table, then she'll need to be around me. Yes. Yes. That's how most guys see it nowadays. That's why you got these dating coaches out there keeping it real, saying, if I got with a guy, he'd be around my father's age. Why Why is he around my father's age? Oh, because you already know these guys ain't tricking nowadays. Because there's a lot of guys that see it the same way Floyd Mayweather did. You even seen Steve Harvey saying, look for a man that will sacrifice everything for you. Not give you money, sacrifice everything for you. Now women have to bring more to the table. Let me get into this. Today's women want to get even. The women before you didn't want to get even. She got even by not doing wrong to you. In the process, you felt horrible as a man. Facts. Mm. You stopped cheating. You stopped lying. You start confessing. Your Hold up. So, Charleston White got some gems in that brain. Don't sleep on him. He does what he does for show, but he's a smart dude. Wrongs to this woman because you saw her do no wrong. That's how you beat the man. That's how you beat him. You can't beat him getting even with him. You'll lose because nobody shames a man for being a whore, but they'll shame you. Oh, absolutely. Mm. Woo! That right there is the truth. Let's keep moving. To put stuff in context, so this was a uh, reply to 
him saying that women were safe in the kitchen. We wanted to get out of the kitchen, and that is why we now have to deal with perverted individuals. Um, neither here nor there. I wanted to address the topic of him speaking about um, black women and um, that particular word that was mentioned. He said 24 million. I just wanted to drop some st statistics. So 33%, um, that was in 2022. It seems like the um, stats haven't been updated yet, but 2022, 33% of all of those were committed by um, non-Hispanic white women. 38% were committed by non-Hispanic black women. And with that, we can understand why there is a disproportionate amount within the black community due to a lack of resources and a lack of sexual education that occurs within the educational system. Additionally, uh, with the lack of resources within the community, as far as funding, lack of funding that occurs within um, the black community. See, what you're seeing is a lack is not a lot. The problem is what you can see here. Too smart for your own good. And not even smart. Remembering unnecessary information. Who cares about what community? I don't look at white and black that much. I don't sit around making videos saying I hate black women. I look at all y'all and say a lot of y'all are rugged. And I know what it is. It's the American society. The people that have it the worst, and this is why guys state this a lot, all from the community. That may not be that way with abortion, but it's with everything else. Say if it was that way in abortion in 2022, well, I, I wouldn't expect it to be because they're having the babies and going to the government for it. Yeah, you are going with this guy about nonsensical things when the whole thing is women and men need to pipe down, fly straight, then see some real issues solved. And if it's between a gender war between men and women, Yes, that can be solved as well with cooperation. And it takes cooperation from the other side, from women's side, because men already extended the hand and say, I'm here to help. I'm here to do whatever you need. Come on over. And a lot of y'all ain't doing it. Facts. It was at this moment that he knew he fed up. I mean, yeah, that is how Jimbo was born because that's what you need to be doing. At that point, your heart's broken. But yeah, man, this happens to guys every day. He's a young guy too. I don't know how old he is, but I remember being that age and I wanted, to, for me, see my mother and father, I wanted to be married at like 20. I wasn't really ready. I didn't really know any better, but I was going to make it work. And you know what happened? I did make it work. I did whatever I did for a sales career, made it happen. And by the age of 20 years old, I was making a decent amount of money. And I say that to say, you can do whatever you put your mind to as long as you work hard at it. That's when I first learned hard work. And also that's when I first, not when I first learned heartbreak, but I learned heartbreak before that. But this man is learning heartbreak and he sees, he'll see now there's a way out. And that's the way out. Focus on yourself getting yourself together, working on your craft, and gym is one of those things that help. Let me get into the next one. That's when he switched up. He started moving differently. Dez is sitting here and say, oh, he was giving me all his money. You are giving me all your money lies. You was being stingy with your money. You was selfish. You used to even hide how much money you was making. Like, literally, I will find your receipts, your bank receipts. If I'm getting in the car, like, you just told me you had no money to help me do this. You got thousands of dollars in your bank account. So now I got to curse you out behind it. But when you ain't had nothing, you ain't never had to curse me out about you being hungry, you trying to cut the lights on, like everything was handled. And you was actually making money, all that. You know, she didn't believe in my dream. The dream was very much so a reality, even on his timeline that he provided. Let's start with the first lie, that I was unsupportive. If you go through this boy's entire Instagram page, all his videos was made in my car. No, no insurance, he wasn't paying maintenance. 
You wasn't doing none of that. Giving you money and giving you a way to shoot content while I'm at work at night, slaving on somebody's clock. But then also when you wanted to go network and go shoot content with other people, I provided your way. If you wanted to go be on the scenes, I made sure you had money in your pocket to do what you needed to do. Whole time I'm either at work, at school, at you home. You gave this man an allowance to go do what he needed to do. But <laughs> I, it, it wasn't like, oh, it's an allowance. Like, I was a waitress. So, you know, it was fast cash. Okay. That was like, I was on my own the whole time while I was in college. Money. So the whole time I would always be like, okay, once these the household is taken care of and everything, what do you need? Like, what are you trying to do up for? For you to push for what you were trying to do with your, your career. I wasn't putting nothing into me because the whole time it was like, okay, when you make it, then we can focus on what I want to do. You can put back into me. But that time never came for me. All right, winos, if you enjoy shows like this and would like to see more with me on... Now, what was she thinking? She had a Glocktavius. She had a Pookie and a Ray Ray mixed with the Glocktavius. A guy that wants to rap. What, did she think he was going to reciprocate that? That's the opposite of what y'all are. Now, I'm not saying you in general, right? I'm saying what women do. Take, 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 don't give back. What you think Pookie gonna do? What you think, forget Pookie and Ray Ray, he's Pookie, Ray Ray, and Glactavius. What you think Glactavius gonna do? He's gonna take, take, and when it comes time for him to give back to you, you're not gonna be in that mansion. You're not gonna be with him when you get that record deal, and he's doing those shows, and he's booked out, and he has shows, all over the place. He's going with the girls that are a little bit thinner. He's getting the slim thinkings and them slim pickings because you're not good enough. And then you wonder why guys always say, pick better. This is why. Foreign woman again. My fiance was born in Mexico. She moved here and she was 13. I feel like the type of woman that she is is heavily influenced by the fact that she grew up in Mexico. I do not know if I could date a girl that grew up. My girl started dating me when I worked at Papa John's as a pizza delivery driver. I didn't know you were guy. She would come bring me, you know, food in the parking lot there and stuff. In the next 10 years, she has seen this just like completely evolve in San Diego. We're gonna have kids, we're gonna have sick cars, we're gonna have multiple properties across the world. Like, however, the wrong girl or the series of wrong girls can take you out. So yes, young men should be extremely skeptical about girls in general. You see that? She placed him in this soft guy era 10 years ago. And she's from Mexico. She's not an American woman because she was willing to work with him as he built himself up. He was nobody. She, she probably, he didn't say it, but she probably had a good job. She probably made enough money. She, she probably made more than him. He was able to work on himself. Because they did for each other. She had his back. Now he has her back. I want something feminine and delicate. He's probably a multi-millionaire now. You see that, y'all? You see that? Just support your man. That's all that's needed. Comes for the passport, bro. It's about dating in Japan. Look at me, passport, bro. Some hold up, hold up, hold. What, 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 wait a minute, hold up. Something ain't right. Wait a minute. This is a white guy. Talking about dating in Japan. Let's hear this. Beautiful Japanese ladies. Good. They're great. Very feminine, very caring, very nurturing. You'll be very hard pressed to find fat Japanese girl in Japan. Very difficult to find. Ugly ones are very rare in general. The average beauty level of a Japanese girl is probably the highest in the world. They don't have as many as, you know, 10 out of 10s there, but they don't have any ugly ones. They do, it's just very rare. But they're far from the easiest girls to date or to get with or whatever you're looking for. Far from it. They're very cautious when it comes to dating. From what I've been able to tell, it's because back in the day, we're more like Thailand or the Philippines or something like that, where it was just extremely easy to get with them. I think a lot of them got burned. Learned that, oh, you know, the white guy or the Western man, they're just looking to use you. And to be fair, a lot of guys do do that. So they're a lot more cautious over there with that stuff. Probably rightfully so. I don't blame them at all. Second thing that's kind of negative is they don't speak very good English at all. It's getting better. You can find girls that speak some English, but they're very hesitant to do so. And if you can learn some Japanese, it'll go a really long ways over there. Oh, yeah, that's that's anywhere, right? You 
learn the language, you open yourself up to the entire population at that point. Because also, you go over to a country and learn a language, the people are like, okay, wow, yeah, she took the time to learn it. Him, he's telling his experiences as a white man. Now, I do know this. Guys that are my complexion or a little bit darker have an easier time, but this man is over there making it work. What is that showing? That's showing whether you're black, white, anybody can go over to Japan. Even Korea too. Don't sleep. All that 4B movement is nonsense. Guys can go over to these countries and explore and get to see the culture because that's what it's all about too, right? It's not just about the woman. It's about seeing the culture, exploring, and become one with the culture and find a place to live, get into business, and do many other things. That's what it's all about. That's what I do here. And guys want to see what that's about because they realize this is the way. Passport, bro. Passport. No. It's definitely more to life than going through what they're going through back home. My point exactly. 